Hey guys, you get a two for today. Um, of course, tearing things apart is the easy part. It doesn't take long to tear things apart. So I spent the last several hours uh, stripping out this machine and then I measured up the uh, mounting post in the cabinet for the new back panel and I got that drilled out. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick walk around and uh, show you a couple of things. I'll show you, well, let's, sh let's do the old ham coupler first. So here's an old ham coupler. It's actually two halves. One goes on the motor, one goes on the ball screw, and then there's an insert. And they fit very snugly together. This is what I'm going to be using on all three axes. So that's an old ham coupler. It's just still sealed in the, in the package. But uh, anyway, like I said, it's an insert that uh, these, uh, let's call them a protrusion, I guess, a spigot uh, is machined into this this uh, insert and they lock together and these are really good there's no uh, no backlash in them so that's an old ham coupler if you didn't know that um, so let's take a look at the machine and uh, look at a challenge with uh, NEMA 23 AC servo motor versus the original DC motors that were on this machine Okay, I pulled the table off of it just so I had better access to that uh, motor. Um, there's only one motor on the Y-axis. Um, it's mounted, the ball nut is mounted right here to this plate. That's a very heavy piece of aluminum. All this is heavy aluminum plate. Um, it's reinforced here. It's kind of cool. There's a grease fitting to grease the ball nut because once the table's on, it's kind of a pain to get to. Um, there you see the ball screw up top for X. And uh, of course, y is the Y ball nuts right there. Um, so anyway, it's all stripped back. There you can see the uh, the X positive limit switch, and over there is the X negative limit switch, and both the Z switches there. Again, I'm only going to use the one that I'll be using for homing, and I'll use soft limits for the rest. Um, there's Y back there. Here's the other one here. Okay, so that's all stripped back. Uh, the only wiring that I left is to the limit switches. Um, it just, this thing needs to be cleaned up. The wiring needs to be cleaned up. Cable management needs to be better. Uh, I'm probably going to tear this box off, cut this post down, put a larger box here. This, this cable carrier kind of uh, is a skosh bit on the short side. So if I put a bigger box, then I'm hoping I can extend it somewhat. Um, challenge on the AC servo. So I have my little adapter plate on the servo. And there you can see that the shaft isn't going to come out enough to, uh, to uh, get the uh, pulley out to meet the pulley on the ball screw. And that's the same on both Y and, y and uh, X. So I'm thinking about making shaft extensions for these motors, um, just enough to get the pulleys out. The other option is to get pulley stock and make a really long, cut a long piece to get it out where it belongs and then turn this back down and then secure it to the shaft. I don't know. I'll uh, cross that bridge when I get to it. Um, cabinet's empty. The old panel the old panel only came part way, so I made a panel that'll go all the way around. It basically, it's basically about a, a quarter inch, uh, quarter or half narrower than the the opening of the cabinet, so it can be put in and out. So that's all done. And again, all this wiring is all the uh, limit switch wiring. And I'll take you over here to show you the second little surprise. Actually, it's easier to deal with than the, than the uh, motor issue. Here's my power supply. I've got it on the bench. It's powered up right now. And, uh, shocker, it's not a, it's not uh, 60 volts or even near it. 32 volts. Hefty power supply. Um, but, I mean, it would probably work, 
Um, but I think I'd probably rather get a 48 volt power supply, maybe a, a thousand watt power supply for this machine. And there's the back panel. This is, uh, I think it's 5052 aluminum and that's got a white skin on it so I can mark it all up and then peel it all back when I'm done uh, to expose the, the nice aluminum finish. I just, I just like starting with a piece of aluminum versus steel and it's easier to work with and so forth. But uh, anyway, here's the old, one of the old motors. Um, it actually protruded further out and allowed the shaft to stick out enough to get the pulley out there. So anyway, that's where I'm at. The next, uh, next step for me will be to build the back panel, lay out all the components on the back panel, get them secured, um, get the Panduit wireway down, and then start wiring it all up, and then bench test the motors, and uh, well, bench test the Acorn, get that checked out first, and then bench test the uh, DYN2 drives and motors and um, then get it mounted up in the cabinet so that's it for now got a twofer in one day talk to you guys soon